Hey, it's Tom, back with another video on my rating climb to 2000 on chess.com. I'm going to play another 10 plus 5 game, analyze it, and uh, yeah, we'll jump right into it. I'm currently rated 1502. Let's find an opponent. Man, been getting a lot of black black pieces these days. Okay, so let's try something different. 1463. <clears throat> I'm going to play a King's Indian. I will say that I have not uh, studied the King's Indian very much. And I will probably lose this game as a result. But I do know some theory. And I think this move is e5 because if takes 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 let's say takes here now we get the knight back so e5 or the pawn back takes 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 Takes, takes. Oh, I bring the rook over and then I take the pawn. I think that's good. I think that's normal. <clears throat> okay, yep, they close it down. Um... I know c6 is a move here. And do I take? I don't think so. Where do I put my bishop? Let's develop my knight. I have no idea what I'm doing. Can still take with the pawn. The reason why I'm playing the King's Indian, uh, even though I don't know the theory that well, is because I do plan on learning the theory. Be good to get some experience in the opening. But also, I just don't like the positions I've been getting from responding uh, like d4, d5. I just, I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of those positions. So, I can put my queen here. I think that's fine. Develop my queen. Maybe actually I should be looking at going for an F4 break. I don't know what I'm doing playing on the queen side here. Yeah, I think the F4 break is what I need to go for. Normally, I think this bishop is right here, maybe. I'm trying to think about the the king's Indian. Okay, so if I go here, they have this. <clears throat> I can jump my knight in, take here, jump this knight in. I don't know if this is a good... I'm interested to find out, though. Opponent seems like maybe they're out of their 
book two, or maybe it's just I'm playing weird moves and they're like, what is this guy doing? And Czar 57 from France. Show your flare. What is the... I don't have any flare. I wonder what this thing is. Okay, so I can't go f4 right now. Which is kind of annoying. I don't think moving maybe moving my knight back to e8 was the was the move here. In this particular variation. <clears throat> And I couldn't go f4 if you didn't see it, because then takes here, I mean, I can still take back, but then take and take and, I don't know, I don't think that looks very good. So let's see if opponent can will trade here. I also like the idea of playing the King's Indian because it's a more attacking game rather than the the positional positions I usually play. So looking to maybe get some get some more positional or uh, less positional games in, more attacking. Play like tall. Start sacking pieces. Just going for the attack. In a rare, um, I guess it's, uh, yeah, I'm up on time is what I'll say, which is rare for me, but I don't know that it'll last. <clears throat> so an interesting move by my opponent. Bringing the king over. Maybe preparing to do this. I don't know that I'm afraid of that. What do I want now? What about F4 now? F4. And then I can bring my other knight over. Locks out this bishop, but I don't plan on keeping the pawn there. If he takes, I take with the pawn. Okay. Let's blow up in the king side. Let's do it. I don't know if this is good for me, so I shouldn't be so excited, but. I get a chance I can put my knight there. <clears throat> and this is a chance. Looking at this move. Even put my bishop here, so then... Okay. Let's 
So what about here? Oh, here. And then if he doesn't take here, I take, queen takes. No, the fork doesn't work. So I could take here, queen takes, I don't know if I want to trade my knight like this, I could take here, knight or bishop takes. I don't want to think too much. Take here. No. Maybe just take here, because I'm going to lose that pawn anyway. I think I have to take with the bishop if he takes with the knight. Gotta stay more up on the clock, I think. Because this is a complicated game and it seems like my opponent doesn't like being attacked right now. So let's make it seem like I know what I'm doing. Let's do it. Right, like these 1500s, they're crazy, man. Okay, so... Is that a mistake? Oh, he can take back with the knight. <clears throat> if I take here, though... just keep it simple Threatening to take twice here. Opponent is now threatening to take twice here. <laughs> Am I really worried about that though? So the interesting thing that arises after I take twice here is the idea of sacking the bishop over here, taking with the queen, with check, and then pushing here for a checkmate. Or, yeah, do I care? slide my rook over <clears throat> yes yeah, so I'm looking at oh my bishop won't be here so if I if I t trade this bishop and sack this bishop I don't have a checkmate what about queen here sack take Could even push this pawn first, but the I 
I like this position. This pawn is hanging. Lots for opponent to think about. He could jump the knight in here. The issue is that I'm going I have a his king is really weak and I'm going for a strong attack here. And I don't know that there's a lot that can be done about that. So I have to slide my king over. It's fine. Can move his rook over to protect the pawn. It also discourages me from taking twice. Well, not really. I can trade and take twice, but then the queen gets this, you know, big open file here. Okay, so that's a that's a good move, I think. Um, it prevents me from going here too, which is kind of annoying. It doesn't prevent me from going there, but if I go there. Let me calculate. So going here, what's the opponent's next likely move? Maybe here to attack this pawn to try to dislodge it. That doesn't make any sense. But let's say they do a, a move like, well, let's say they double up right here or something, or they just move it right over. Takes, takes, king over. I push. I like this. I like this move. <clears throat> now that the queen's not guarding here. I have ideas of checkmating my opponent. Playing some attacking chess. Want to sacrifice this bishop so bad. What would I do if I was the opponent? Let me peek over their shoulder. What are my weaknesses? I mean, this pawn is certainly weak. How do you get to it? Maybe pushing right here. I'd probably just take there, hang my queen. <laughs> uh, knight here looks pretty good. I don't know that it does. I don't know that it's going to save the game. <clears throat> but I like the square for the knight. And then what do you do? I'm not sure. It's looking pretty bad. <sighs> Opponent's under a minute. Okay, so they move their king. I don't know that that changes my plan. Yes. But... Hear me out. Threat is to <clears throat> push my pawn. So maybe they have to push here. In which case I can go up or down. Either way, knight coming is not good. So if they push, yeah. Maybe I go up. Knight comes in. Check doesn't work.
Let's do this. Let's just move my queen out of danger. I don't want a queen trade. So no thanks for that. I can pin the queen if he doesn't move it. Which he may not see with such low time. I think he sees it. But does he? So I could take here, take, take, queen moves, take there. That looks devastating. about here now. <clears throat> I guess I kind of have to take cause down an exchange. I'm down a whole rook. Oh yeah, I sack my rook, duh. What about here? Just getting my rook involved. We could take this pawn now. That was stupid. What am I trying to do here? On ten seconds, bro. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no blunders, even though I sacked my rook. I don't know. Let's take a look at this. That was wild. I like the King's Indian. Just decided. Terrible accuracy, but let's uh, let's jump in. Threw my opponent off, and that was enough. Let's see. So these are all book moves. So surprisingly, um, I remembered. I've only watched one video on the King's Indian, and I have not looked at any of the variations. Um, but I was just going off of basic knowledge of the opening. Um, and I, the main breaks being e5 and c5 and kind of maybe when to play those a little bit.
yeah, this queen move after I, I realized after I was like, this is not good. Um, so taking the bishop was better there. And the bishop was better again. So just pushing the c-pawn to lock up the queen side was better. View of that. So, okay, so the bishop sack was right, but the reason I had behind it was wrong. So let's see if I can figure out why it was wrong. It says I end up winning material, and queen takes was bad. Is this the move? No. Oh, queen check. And where does the king go? If he goes here, I win the queen with a discovered attack. If he goes here, what do I do? I take here and he can't take back. Is that the idea? No. <clears throat> Maybe queen sneaking my queen over here. To attack this pawn. Now what if he comes up? That's not good. Oh yeah, I could go here and just devastating. So what does the opponent do? Bishop g2 protect the pawn. Now I can go f3. Queen e3. And I take the bishop. Yeah, so I get the bishop back in that line. Okay, so you don't just have to just brute force take the pawn. Look at your opponent's resources. Oh wow, so they think... Oh yeah, because if you take the queen... You pin the, pin the rook, and if you take the queen and the king takes, we have oh yeah, okay. And if the king goes back, check. Over. Let's say it goes here. Or no, let's say they go here. Rook f5. Okay, yeah, so we're still going in for checkmate here. Okay. I didn't want to trade queens. I was threatening to pin the... So my opponent saw that. But, I mean, it says that it's an accuracy. What is the... What does the engine suggest here? Oh, just bringing the other rook over. Yeah, I can see that. So this is a great move, sacrificing my rook. I take the knight. Oh yeah, so I was down in exchange here. I sacked my bishop before, which is why I was down a whole piece. And then bishop b2. Oh, hey, just forking the two pieces. So you have to move your queen. No, you don't want to move your queen there. You move your queen here. So you don't lose a piece. Rookie eight. It's kind of what I did, but different. Ooh, yeah. Okay, getting my rook way down there was better. Yeah, 
that main three. Yeah, it's hard to think. I, I feel for my opponent because being like down to 30 seconds in a position like this is like certain death for me. Like if I was white in this position, I would have lost two. And I don't know that there's any way it would have been different unless I was black, which I was with two minutes. So, all right, well, first for it, for four a into the, the King's Indian worked out in my favor, um, played terribly, but had fun. So I'll have to look into more of the theory. So, uh, stay tuned.